You know, I can teach about slavery. <clears throat> I can talk about it. I can talk about the Middle Passage and migration. And I can talk about African American migration north. But when I say, I'm going up north, and I get my students to sing, Satisfied, some people up there, Satisfied, gonna bring you back, Satisfied, it puts that in their body. We ain't talking about a book anymore. They actually have to feel, embody, and if they're willing, embrace what it was like for, this is a children's song from Alabama from the 1950s called I'm Going Up North. They have to actually embrace what it might have been like. They get to experience the humanity of another human being through song. And you ain't got to be black, and you ain't got to be of the Middle Passage or of the migration to get what that song means. I'm going up north satisfied. Some people up there satisfied. Gonna bring you back satisfied. And I ask them, what does that mean? Does satisfied mean the same thing every time you sing it? On the book level, it's the same word. But when you say, I'm going up north, the call and response. I'm going up north satisfied. Yeah. Gonna bring you back satisfied? I don't know. Mama cooked a chicken, satisfied. Oh, people who give you those things, they provide food and nourishment for you. Um, Daddy cooked a bull. You know, the roles that mothers and fathers play. It pulls in all these different things that you got to think about instead of uh, a written text. Four score and seven years ago, our father brought forth in this nation, right, Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, a new nation. <laughs> linear, linear narrative. Great story, just linear narratives are one of a multiplicity of kinds of stories you can tell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Songs embody a huge range of them. It's never like any time. This repetitive text, whatever it is, lyric, line, melody, that you think you've heard before, is never the same. Even if it's at 12.02, p.m. and 12.03 p.m. It's not the same. We are, you know, at the atomic level, we're different every moment. And at the spiritual level, the physical level, the philosophical level, and the just in time and space level, there's always difference happening. The problem is, I assert, when there's no repetition and the human beings are always changing. Human beings are always changing. I'm not the same black person I was. I'm not the same person I was. But yet, you know, as one of my students in my racism course is writing about it in an op-ed, how can you confuse me with this sister sitting next to me who's five inches taller than me, darker than me, different personality, and all you see is a black person? That kind of repetition is causing people pain and suffering. And this was a history teacher craziness. She actually told a student, I know your name is Abigail, and this her name is Kashma. Five feet, five feet tall. Abigail is five five. There's a huge difference in our society between five feet tall and five five. It's only five inches, but most people are not five feet tall, so it's a huge difference. <laughs> and um, she tried to tell her who she was, even as she protested. And when she came up after class and said. Um, wanted to talk to her about what happened. The teacher said, oh, I'm really sorry. It was really dark in here. Oh! And she said, I wanted to say so much, and all I could say was, okay. And I thought, that repetition where people, you know, I know people will say, ah, I'm going off a tangent. No, I think these are all interconnected. This connectivism of this is really vital, that we're being asked to repeat other people's images of us over and over and over again. 
And when we bring repetition with change, they don't want it. In fact, all they can see is the same thing over and over and over again. Black people like music, black people can dance, black people are emotional, black people are volatile, they're violent, they're juveniles. But this is the experience of people and why people make music to try and break that, because I'm going to use the music to crack that open. I'm going to try and get into the sinews, into the spaces that you can't see, to try and make you wake up to me, and not just to me, to the experiences of people like me, um, to that you are me. You are me. There's no difference. Our skin color is not the thing that makes us different. You're no different than me. So I mean like, I really believe in the United States, music is the place where we affect that kind of transformation. Yeah. Um, and you can use music in spaces where music is not allowed um, to affect that transformation or use the people, really, because it's not even about the music, use the people who make music to affect that kind of change. Which hasn't been used as yeah, a place. It's not the music, it's the people. It's, the people. it's not the music, it's the people. What is this thing, uh, Jane, Jane Cortez? They want the oil, but not the people. And a professor who was influenced by her work um, Charlie Kyle, who wrote a beautiful book called Urban Blues, he says it's um, not the, right? They want the music, but not the people. Or what Langston Hughes said, everybody want to sing my blues, nobody want to live my blues. <laughs> it's the people, always the people, always the people. It's not the music.